Hello and welcome once again to the Mask Fan Attic where we discuss interesting old Halloween masks. And tonight we... I told you it was dangerous to be up here. No. Keep still. Tonight we have one that comes to us from the year 1999. I believe it was sculpted in 98 and released for the 99 season by Cinema Secrets. And it was called, at that point in time, Nuke Disaster 1999. Now you may be thinking, well you may be thinking what else could I be watching right now, but you may also be thinking 1999 is a little late to get in on the um, the whole fear of nuke disasters, you know, nuclear wars and all that. That was sort of a 70s and 80s uh, fear more than it was a 1999 fear. But I think in 99, uh, they were probably more inspired by the upcoming Y2K nonsense, which was, um, well, one of those big media-generated panics where everybody thought that uh, the world's computer systems were going to go crazy uh, on midnight of the year 2000, the first, see, the beginning of the year, when it went from 1999 to 2000, uh, people worried that computers would go crazy and nuclear launch codes would go out of control and planes would fall out of the sky and things like that. And if I remember right, I think nothing happened. But um, there may, may have been an old man in Peoria that had trouble with his ATM card that morning, I think. But that was just about it. But anyway, people were worried about the Y2K thing and that, you know, again, nuclear uh, disasters could occur as a result of pro programs that were not compatible with the changeover from the 1900s to the 2000s, you see. So maybe that's what they were thinking about. Anyway, when he came out, he was Nuke Disaster 1999. And he was available for a few years after that as simply Nuke Disaster. They dropped that 1999 from the end of his name so that uh, he didn't seem so dated, you know. And I think this is an outstanding mask. I don't know what happened to this guy exactly because um, well, as part of the nuke disaster theme, you might be able to tell he's got all sorts of uh, nasty tumescent uh, tissue and, and bloated, scary, ugly, zombie-like teratoma and so forth going on. He's got bone exposed. See some of his skull you can see right there. He's got brains hanging out, which look great. Um, and here's the weird thing his cranium is stapled on like the Frankenstein monster uh, might be you see that it's got these big um, well uh, stitches sutures I don't know what those are supposed to be but they're holding the top of his head on which uh, I don't understand that did that happen after the nuclear disaster somebody found him and put the top of his head back on or was he already a sort of Frankensteinish looking guy with his cranium stapled on when the nuclear disaster occurred. I don't know. I'm asking you, the viewer, to decide. Now, Nuke Disaster here uh, is a mask that I think was an outstanding value. I believe I paid like 30 bucks for this. And now I've heard it said by another collector that oh, Cinema Secrets masks, their masks melted and rotted and deteriorated. I don't, I don't think that's the case. I haven't found that to be the case. Uh, a lot of things depend on how masks are stored and used and where they're stored and so forth and so on. And, well, this one's been around since, uh, you know, around 1999, I believe, maybe 2000. And he still looks fine. He still looks pretty much new. He's not super thick. He's not an award-winning casting. But, you know, in 1999, nobody was giving awards for thick mass casting, so they didn't need to compete in that particular uh, arena. But, as you can see, he's got an amazing multicolored paint job. Now, true, sometimes I touch up uh, commercial masks that I, that I get hold of through here and uh, do a little customizing. I didn't touch this guy. Well, okay, I touched him because I put him on this jar here, but... Uh, I did not repaint him in any way. He's at, this is factory paint right here. This is factory paint. And as you can see, it's got blues and purples and pinks and reds. It's got white. It's got some hand-painted dark blue veins here and there. Uh, it's got, see, all the proper uh, red around where the bone is showing and the, the teeth are all nicely painted. And pretty amazing that you could get something like this for $30, don't you think? Now, sadly, 
Cinema Secrets is not making masks right now. They're still in business as a uh, cosmetic and makeup company. And they sell a few masks and costumes, but they're masks and costumes um, made by other manufacturers. But in the 90s, for a while there, they had a huge, extensive catalog. I said extensive, not expensive. They had a wonderful catalog with uh, tons of masks and hands and a lot of licensed prop reproductions and movie characters and very cool foam-filled props for haunted houses like uh, oh, tombstones and weapons and creatures, foam monsters and creatures and zombies and things. It's really a shame that they stopped making all that stuff. I don't know what happened to that stuff, but as of this particular video shoot, Cinema Secrets is uh, not manufacturing that, that type of product. So uh, if you find old nuke disaster here, the, the atomic-powered zombie, guess is what you call it. If you find one, you're probably going to find it either in a costume shop uh, owned by people who were buying masks in the early 2000s and may have gotten their hands on some of these, or you may find it on eBay or someplace like that. But uh, I think it's a very cool mask and I recommend it. Um, it's, it's, kind of, it's kind of got that fear of nuclear horror that, that a lot of the monsters and zombies did uh, back in the day. And it's also got kind of the B. Garrett Feta effect going on as, as in as much as entirely too many things have happened to this guy. You know, he's not just rotted or chopped or bloodied or frozen or burned up or something. He's had all kinds of hard times, uh, this poor guy, because he's got all sorts of different, um, well, injuries and, and wounds and, and so forth going on. And that's it for this week. Nuke Disaster 1999 from the good folks at Cinema Secrets. Now, time to get this attic cleaned up. Hey Laura, come and clean up the attic. <laughs>